Welcome back, friends. Today uh, we're going to wrap up uh, special shapes for vintage Japanese mosaics. Uh, there are only nine picks on the board today, and they're uh, extremely rare. They weren't part of the 720 Herco cabinet assortment of shapes offered from the 50s through the 70s. And uh, of these nine, Eight of them are based on D'Andrea shapes. So let's go right to them right now. In the upper left here, we have the mandolin pick in the D'Andrea 367 shape. Over here, another small mandolin pick, 368. Excruciatingly rare, uh, 368 and a half right there. And the 368 and a half and the 347 and a half are hard to distinguish because they're so similar. And as you can see here, this pick looks to be the same as that one, but if you were to compare the uh, size difference, there would be a slight size difference, as you can see in the edge there. And uh, this is most likely based on the 347. Down here is the 347 and a half, D'Andre shape, and the 352. Now the last pick on the board, the rounded triangle, is extremely unique, not based on D'Andrea. The U.S. never produced this type of pick. You can see it looks like it has a little flying saucer in there. That's a cup grip, and the Germans uh, were uh, exclusively cup grip masters. Undoubtedly, this is a very early 1950s Japanese copy of that German pick, which went out of fashion in the late 1930s. Uh, all these picks are vintage shapes, not to be found in, uh, for quite some time in a modern catalog. Uh, there are some exceptions to these two here, but uh, you'll know they're vintage just by their color. You should become more acclimated to the colors of vintage picks. So, real special group here of nine vintage Japanese mosaics uh, in rare shapes. I'm going to show you the D'Andrea guide right now that, that I was talking about that has the numbers on it. And uh, we'll compare a few of those shapes to these numbers. As you can see down here, we have a 367. Two variations of the 367. That's how D'Andre has them listed in two different catalogs. But there's the 367 right there. Easily uh, confused uh, also with the 363. And then here's the 368. Two variations of that. Also, we're talking about the one on the right. And then we have uh, the 352 and a half right there, as you can see, that pick. And the uh, 368 and a half right there. And the 347 and a half right there. And finally, the uh, 352, which is right here. So, none of these shapes were ever cataloged using a uh, Herco or Japanese system. Since they are copies of the Andrea picks, it's good to refer to them in reference as Japanese-made picks in exclusive the Andrea shapes. Thanks for joining me uh, this time. And if you want to see this whole uh, catalog of the Andrea shapes, that's listed under Guides in another YouTube video. You'll find it on my page. Thanks for joining me. Joe at Fine Pick 7. Take care.